Hi everyone, welcome back to Warmer Plans. Today I'm planning the week commencing the 14th of March, um, 2022, I don't know why I said that. Um, I'm using the St. Patrick's Day kit from Planner Face. I don't even know why I'm using it, cause I don't, well I do know why I'm using it. I don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day, I'm Scottish, but I just love the kit. So, so I'm using it. I've got my stickers pulled out. I found that the mini album from the Christmas countdown just fits like a week's worth of pre-planning stickers for me perfectly. Um, obviously memory planning is a bit more. And then I've got this tape from Colourful & Co. So I'm gonna lay down the base and I will be back very soon. So while I lay the base of the spread down, I wanna talk about something that the planner world is talking about a lot this week. Um, so the basis of a situation that happened is that um, someone who I believe was like um, a squad girl or whatever they call it for a happy planner um, got weight loss surgery and then essentially denounced her love of planning. She said it was like a fat girl's hobby. She didn't want to do it anymore. It promotes a stationary lifestyle, whatever. Um, obviously totally unacceptable for her to say um however let me just have a bite of biscuit <laughs> sorry um this was quickly overshadowed by an idiot woman who decided to message um the weight loss queen and say and by the way the woman who had the um weight loss surgery was a black woman uh, she decided to message her and say it's not very nice to say bad things about fat people totally agree as a side note um it's not very nice to say bad things about fat people how would you feel if we called you and then proceeded to not just say the n-word but actually write it in its fullest form uh i believe with a hard r but i'm not entirely sure because the screenshots that I've seen are blurred out. So um, obviously, obviously completely unacceptable. Um, and the conversation very quickly changed to how it was not okay that this racist woman showed her arse basically and was very quick to jump to use a word that was clearly already in her vocabulary. Um, her defense of the situation was I didn't call her it. I asked her how it would feel to be called it Doesn't matter. It's not a defense. It's that's that's the worst defense. I've ever heard um, It's it's not okay for a white woman or at least white presenting. I don't know this woman's background um, It's never okay for her to to use that word um, to weaponize that word um, Absolutely unacceptable after we move on from the racism, which I don't want to say move on from because it's still there, but maybe um, walking alongside the racism a couple steps behind, we've got the blatant fat phobia that happened. And it's a real fucking shame that we didn't get a chance to talk about this in this community because weight loss bullshit is rife. Um, planner girls are, or planner people, are not immune to the bullshittery that is the weight loss industry. A lot of people are brainwashed into putting it in their planners. Um, and it sucks. And we could have had a really fucking good conversation about how fat phobia is not okay and how being a smaller weight doesn't mean that your value as a person increases and yeah, wasted opportunity now thanks to an idiot racist. Um, I've kind of spent my week arguing about this, which is why I'm kind of heated because, meh. Um, I, it's not for me as a white woman and a fat woman to decide that one is more important than the other because only one of these issues applies to me. Um, only, I only face one of these struggles, but I do fucking face one of these struggles it impacts every tiny minor facet of my life there isn't an element of my life that isn't impacted by one of these issues um 
But that doesn't mean that's the only thing I'm going to talk about. And I think it's really fucking short-sighted for someone to say I'm only interested and affected by one of these. So I'm going to say it's bigger and more important. And I'm really sad that we're not talking about just that. Talk about both. Both are shitty. Um, both both fucking make people want to kill themselves come on guys like I don't need to be I mean no one that watches my channel thankfully hopefully is um, likely to have joined in in anything like this but yeah I don't know I want to throw my two cents I had a really shitty week with some arsehole <laughs> telling me that I don't care about fat phobia because I don't understand it um, and then throwing statistics about fat phobia at me. She says she watches my channel. I doubt she does now. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Like, anyone who knows me would say, would laugh in the face of that woman. And in fact, they did laugh when I told them. So, yeah, I just, I, I, <sighs> I don't like to bring up beef or anything stupid like that. I just want to say that none of this situation was okay. Um, the the diet industry is fucking toxic and clearly it got to this woman and clearly she internalized a lot of shitty messages about herself and about other women in particular. Um, and that sucks and we need to change that. But that doesn't justify some white woman coming in and calling her or even using the n-word at all. I was going to say in her presence but at all. Um, anyway, this got heated. <laughs> this is fun. This is a happy spread. Um, yeah, let's just move on. Okie doke. There is the finished spread. I am loving it so far. I'm like having tea and biscuits, but I've left it so long that my tea is stone cold, so my biscuits are not dunking very well. I'm gonna have to crunch. And what I actually forgot to do was mark in my work shift, so let me do that now. There we go, all sorted with my work shifts. Okay, let's jump straight into Monday and zoom in a little bit. So, on Monday, the first thing I want to say is that it is Week B, you guys know I always mark this in with a third box at the top of my Monday. Then I need to mark in page coming home, I'll put in the evening, I can't do it that colour. So let's do budget here. I'm doing a workout at... Half eleven ish. But let me just do that so that everything fits. And then I'll put this box in for a draw. And page coming home. It can be on this guy. I used my planner to lean on and I've got so many little cuts and stuff on it now. Whoops. So Let's just pop in what I can. So we've got week B here. Um, budget, I think I was gonna use this bad boy. Um, balance budget. I've got my workout on Monday morning. And then this was drawing, right? Yeah, drawing. <clears throat> Maybe I'll put down the script because I'm not sure where this is going to lie. Mm, that's got to stay there. Okay. Then if I just write in page home down here. That is Monday, already sorted, that was easy. On to Tuesday, um, obviously work, 
Um, as with every Tuesday, we've got gym and car day, which I'm marking the same way every time. So let's just find these. And I think I'll go this and this. <clears throat> and that is usually right before work, so I shall do that. <laughs> So um, we've got this for our coffee date, this is for Jim, I don't know why I picked popcorn for Jim but there we go. <laughs> um, then so in the morning I want to do some research for my calendar, I don't know if I picked anything out for that, um, okay I know what I use. I'm just going to use this green envelope. I don't know why, but it will work. Feels wonky though. Eek, annoying. And then just in the evening, I'll be marking in cubs as always. Mikey has cubs. Tuesday. So I've got this. I know it's an Animal Crossing character, but I got them to like represent my key. <laughs> um, okay, and then the only thing to write in on Tuesday is research for calendar. Easy peasy, another easy day. At the top of Wednesday, I'm just gonna pop in that it's Amy's birthday. Uh, birthday. And then, so I've got work, and I need to film, draw, and work on orders. So, filming, I think, will take up the longest so if we do filming actually I need to do drawing first because of the direction <laughs> I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a sec direction of the um, sticker that I pulled out basically <laughs> That is for drawing. And I'll just like layer it a little bit. Next is for filming. And then before work, I just need to spend some time pulling orders. So I will use maybe another purple just because I've got a green icon with it. Uh, print orders. There we go. Only one thing to write in and that is Amy. Okay, so moving swiftly on to Thursday. Um, obviously it is St. Patrick's Day, so I'll mark that at the top. Mm. St. Patrick's Day. And then I've got um, work, obviously, upload, and then I just need to fit in a home ed task and a workout.
And I'm just gonna move this down because I honestly just don't intend to do anything that early in the day. Um, obviously I'm working a lot this week, so I'm pretty much gonna be tired all week. Um, and then work out here. And I've got nothing else to write in on Thursday. On to Friday, I've got to fit in drawing. Obviously, I've got work. Drawing, VA work, editing, and articles. So four things. And I want to spend a good amount of time drawing. So let's do drawing here. And then I want to do some VA work before that. Mm, VA work. And then I need to write articles. thing I need to do or rather the first thing I need to do is edit so I will get one of these and I've got just a little laptop here and, and oh man I just stuck these two edit stickers together oh it's fine they peeled straight off and an edit sticker so again nothing to write in on Friday Saturday I've already marked in work and upload so I've just got to do a bit more VA work. Um, I'll put it on the actual day but obviously I'll be working at this time. Um, so I'll probably just have to fit it in the evening after work. And then I also need to just make some Rhymer made content, which I need a slight, maybe a half. I don't, don't think I've used any half boxes. Um, and I'll just use this. Don't know why. Well, that's just gonna have to stay there now, isn't it? I'm just gonna write content here. Okay, that was easy. And now Sunday, and I've just got two things to mark in, and that is editing and vlog work. So, let's do some editing with this guy. And I didn't pull out um, the character for that, so I'll need to. And then just something else to mark in. Doing blog work. I'll just use this. <clears throat> mm. Just use phone there for editing. Oh shit, sorry. Knocked my lights. That's for blog work. So we've got some full boxes that we need to put in. And I've also not done my date covers. Let's open out and see how we are. That is looking pretty good. So, where's my full boxes? Um, oh, I already put them aside. So, I will have... I don't even drink, but... <laughs> just put this here. 
And then one for here. And one final one. I'll put the birthdays, the birthdays, the balloons on Wednesday because of Amy's birthday. And that, I think, is that. I've got some tiny gaps every so often. Um, you know what I didn't do is put in my dates. So let me just do that quick, quick, quick. I pulled this set out, this set of eight dots, and I haven't got a 19, for God's sake. Okay, I'll have to pull one from another set. Okay, and that is the finished spread. A little bit of foil going on there, but I didn't use any overlays or anything. Um, I really like it. I never normally do St. Patrick's Day at all. I just don't really care about it. Um, I don't drink, and I'm not Irish, so what's the point? Um, but yeah. Do you guys do St. Patrick's Day kits? Let me know. If so, what are you going to be using? Um, and yeah, comment like down below if you like this video. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks guys. Bye.